Here's a quick guide on how to merge two different mods for Baldur's Gate 3. Okay, so this is going to be a really simple example. And so basically the scenario is we have two mods that modify Eldritch Blast and there's a conflict that we need to resolve and we want both of them to work. Okay, so at this point we're at the stage where I've went ahead and set up a workspace folder so that I can keep everything organized and I used lslib to extract the pack file for uh, mod 1 which is on the left and mod 2 which is on the right. So mod 1 on the left it's a combat mod so it only changes combat parameters for Eldritch Blast. My mod which is on the right is only a graphical mod and so I only change the graphical parameters. So this file structure is very important. They modify level maps, I modify root templates. There is no conflict. Okay? Uh, that doesn't mean there couldn't be a conflict, um, and there's some complex scenarios for that, but like I said, this is just a really simple example. Um, and so we'll go into stats, generated, data. Okay, so now we're at, we've arrived at the file where there is actually a conflict. And these files are named differently, um, but they actually are the same uh, because they modify the same entry. Um, which is pro um, the projectile's entry for Eldritch Blast. So here you can see that on the left, again, that's the combat mod. They modify projectile underscore Eldritch Blast. And then mine, the graphical mod, also modifies the same exact entry. So our job here is to merge these edits. And so there's a couple ways to execute this, but Basically, the way that I'm going to do this today is I'm going to go ahead and install the combat map mod as normal. I'm not going to make any changes to it. Um, and then I'm going to actually edit my mod, repackage it, and then install it afterwards. Uh, and part of the reason why I'm choosing to do that is because their mod is a little bit more complex. There's more files, uh, and maybe more could go wrong, whereas mine is just really simple, and I, feel, you know, it's my mod, so I guess I feel comfortable doing it this way. Um, but I'm using Notepad++, and I recommend um, either this or some similar type of solution. What I love about uh, Notepad++ is it has uh, plugins, and so if you don't see the compare plugin, you can Google it and find it. It's very helpful. So here we have the two different versions, and they're marked up to show uh, how they compare. Um, so I'm going to go through these line by line, and we're going to take the changes on the left and decide what we want to merge into the mod on the right. Okay. So the first change that you see here is data AI flags cannot use. So um, we're going to go ahead and keep it. Okay, and then uh, we have these two parameters, target radius and amount of targets. Um, so I just use, in mine I use the default, um, so we're going to overwrite the default. The next part is trajectories. This is a graphical parameter only. It is not a combat parameter, so we're going to go ahead and keep mine because it's a graphics enhancing mine. Uh, the next one is description parameters and tooltip damage list. This describes combat data, and so we're going to go ahead and overwrite it. Okay, and the last part is um, these prepare and cast effects, uh, and then I've added on mine three additional effects, and these are all strictly graphical, so we're going to keep those. Okay, so the end result should be that all the parameters from the left are copied over to the right, except the ones that are highlighted currently those are the ones that are part of the graphics mod. Okay, so make sure that it is saved. So now we have this mod folder. This is the original structure. So we've only edit edited the one text file. So we're gonna open up lslib, the converter app. And I actually already have this selected 
and then in the same workspace right here, we're going to create a package. It has to look like this, red elders blast dot pack. And make sure you type in the dot pack if it, I don't think it populates automatically, but you just want to produce a dot pack file. Also make sure that the game is set to Baldur's Gate 3, that the version here is Baldur's Gate 3 release. I don't know that the compression matters, but mine is defaulted to LZ4 and it works fine. So we're going to create the package. Okay, so now we have the dot pack file. And this is the mod. This is the mod package. But Vortex prefers um, archived files. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a zip. All right. And then I'm going to plop that zip into Vortex. OK, so now we have uh, all the mods installed that we need for this project. OK, so we're ready to go ahead and, and load the game. OK, so here we are. Here is the final product. So already you can see the windup is the new graphics. And here you can see that we downloaded a mod that had the combat one with lots of different projectiles. Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> it's a little overwhelming, but there you go, it works. Try it. different targets here. Wow, explosive. Slows my computer down a little bit. Okay, well that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, go ahead and reach out to me if you need any more help. Thanks.